Hello guys and thank you for joining me again on another build video. I love doing this so <laughs> if you want to see more just subscribe to my channel because geez I'm going to be posting at least three of these a week. Um, it's just because I'm trying to, to show people that you, do, you don't need to just spam freaking Zimmermans to win. This is Wally, the anti-meta build. Um, it is quite an interesting build. Uh, you won't see this very frequently in Armored Core. So I'm going to go ahead and just get down to it. Now, before I start, remember, go ahead and look for me in Instagram. Follow me in Instagram uh, so I can follow back. And if you have any questions or comments or whatever, you can just go ahead and uh, post them there. Actually, somebody... Somebody... Where's my cell phone? Somebody posted a comment. Here it is. Somebody posted a comment a while ago. It says... So there's a couple of them. There was one asking about laser weapons, but I already did a build for laser weapons um, before this one for Wally. And there's, well, this one says, hey, bro, your headset is too big for your dome. When are you getting a new one? <laughs> well, um, the, to answer that, when this one breaks, because I don't wear this headset so that I can please you guys. I just wear it because it sounds nice and it has a good microphone. Anyhow, so let's go down, let's get down to it, okay? So right now, this is what Wally is about. He's a non-confrontational AC, which means uh, in order to win, you're actually not going to be facing your opponent straight up. It, it is kind of like a troll build, but it is effective. So first, we have the aperitif on the right hand, which is, as you may know, a 10 out of 10 missile launcher. Um, it lets you set the missiles in the air, and then after a while, they follow your opponent. So they're very good, especially with this build that is very mobile. Right hand, we have the red shift. Um, it is important to notice that the red shift can be replaced possibly with the laser lance. As you may or may not know, a lot of the movement that comes with melee weapons is actually comes down from your booster. And since we're using tank legs, there is no booster. So most of these weapons are going to be very trash on this build except for the laser lance because of this forward movement as you can see the lance itself has boosters so it doesn't use the boosters the normal boosters to move and in this case the redshift because the redshift has the ability to like throw the energy waves ammunition but you also have a decent weapon to do uh direct hit damage whenever your opponent gets stunned Anything from 190, 185 up is good for this purpose. So that's why we have the uh, Redshift Sword. Now on the back I have this like missiles. These are the plasma missiles. They're very difficult to dodge. So they're here for that very reason. They don't do a whole lot of damage nor impact, but they're very reliable, very reliable, especially in PvP, in, in playing against other players. So you can replace this by a few other options. You can do the, the nuclear missile launcher, the coral missile. I mean, it's a good option, but you would have to probably change the generator to a heavier one too. So you're going to lose some of the speed. Um, another good option is the Trueno. The reason I'm not using the Trueno in this video is because my next build actually focuses on this missile launcher, so I'm not going to be doing two videos with the same thing. But it's also a good recommendation if you are looking for something different. The Scatter Missile Launcher is also a good option, but again, same deal with the generator. Please never in your life use this couple of things. They're trash. Um, the Active Homing Missile Launcher is pretty decent also because of the slow, slow, very annoying, uncomfortable to dodge um, guidance system. And then if you're fighting like a very slow opponent, maybe the Vertical Missile Launcher for because it shoots 12 of them and it does a lot of damage if, they, if most of them connect. Oof, spicy. Other than that, those would be the ones that I would recommend. Then... As a long as a, a couple more options, maybe this one, the BML G2, uh, Por Duo. It is pretty decent. I like how they come out. Um, one, two, three, doom, doom, doom. They have a, an interesting angle, but they are not very good at hitting opponents that are rushing towards you very fast. So just take that into consideration. And finally, if you really want to, I, no, I personally don't recommend these, but if you like them, just go ahead and equip them there because they are uh, 
very damaging and they're very good mostly for PvE, but right now we're trying to see builds that also more specifically work in PvP. So yeah, right now that's the weapon that I have here, and now this is another one of the additions, this Cut'em. So now is when things are gonna get dirty. Scutum is a shield that takes about like 3-4 seconds in actually activating, but once it does, oh boy, it blocks a lot of damage. Um, the reason why I'm putting it, this shield in this build particularly is because the Scutum has a couple of weaknesses. And I'm gonna show you now that we go um, into the training mode real quick to see the functionality of the build. We have Basho head just for the cosplay, like this is not the only head I use, um, just in case you saw my previous video. Um, but it is the one that's more appropriate to be Wally. Um, we have Melander Core, which is a pretty standard core for this build. You can change it if you don't like it. Just make sure to take uh, into consideration the energy load. Basho Arms. Basho Arms are characterized because they have extremely high melee specialization, which increases the damage of melee weapons. And low firearm, but we are not using a firearm, so this is indeed the best couple of arms for this build. Fortaleza tank legs that will allow me to move at an impressive speed of 366. So this is a 12k build that moves at 366. It just doesn't do a lot of quick boost. Um, we don't have any boosters. We have the FCS, the one that lets you aim with missiles the fastest at 150. That's all you need. And the generator, we're using the VE-20A. Even if it's not the strongest generator, it is one of the more lightweight ones. So we want to keep the speed very high. If not, you're going to start, uh, you're going to get hit by freaking needle launchers. And that's not what you want. The expansion, I'm going to be honest, you do not want to use the pulse protection because you will take away your mobility, which you want to keep with this build. I would not use the terminal armor because it sucks. So just keep it between the assault armor and the pulse armor. Ah, the assault armor and the pulse armor. Yeah, I got a little deja vu there for you. So first I'm going to explain real quick how the build works. Then we're going to go to the arena and beat some of the top tier guys so that you can see that it works with pretty much the arena. And then we're going to go to the nest. So what we're going to be doing is you're going to start, you're going to turn on your boosters, you're going to turn on your shield, and then you're just going to stay at maximum range from the opponent, spamming missiles. Once the opponent, you see that he's about to get um, stunned, you can start like getting close to him, close to him, and as soon as he gets stunned, you're going to cut him up. Pretty simple. Even if your shield goes down, you are able to defend yourself pretty well with this set of weapons, so... Uh, let's go ahead and grab a trainer AC first so you see what the the plan is with this build. So you start, you turn on your shield, now it's activated, you start throwing some of this out. You position yourself so that the missiles start connecting. Now I see that he's about to get stunned, so one more volley, I'm getting close, I'm getting close. He's stunned. Mm. The damage, bro, and that's pretty much what this build does. Then you can go ahead and turn up, turn uh, on again your shield. You can see how little damage he can do, um, conceive, because this shield is just so strong. 60 for a charged shot from a linear rifle. 36 for the missiles. Bro. So this is the thing, this is the build on, it does work and it works very well, especially against like Zimmermans, because guess what, Zimmermans only have 130 effective range, that even if it is a freaking lot, I'm too much for a shotgun that's that strong. Um, opponents are usually going to have some trouble catching up to you, so let's go ahead and choose, I usually like Michigan or Freud, let's go ahead and just get Freud out of the way. Just to show you that the build does work in the arena and then we're going to go and fight a couple of people. Now, it is very important for you to note that this is not a build that you want to main. Because it is very easy to counter it. So you're going to be using it in two scenarios. Scenario one, the opponent is mostly using close range weapons. And he's really not letting you play at all. So in that case, you can go ahead and use this build. Um to counter him just make sure that he's gonna change his build so that's basically what you what we wanted right we wanted him to change his annoying build spamming zimmerman spamming all that stuff we don't want him to use that so you go ahead and you just do this so you can see the speed is enough um for him to fade to miss the little drones they don't even catch me Mm. 
be 100% sure to not let your shield overheat because if it does, you're probably not gonna have it for the remainder of the because who this guy is angry at me. Mm. You see, I blocked both of his swings with the shield and he barely did some damage. Um, thankfully, there's not a lot of like pulse rifles in this game right now, pulse cannons, I'm sorry, because pulse cannons will eat through this shield. But then at that point where, where people are using pulse, then you know that you made it. Again, non-confrontational, the build just takes advantage of missiles and their good tracking, and uh, with this being said, rules to use this build. First, don't use it as a main. People are going to counter you very quickly. You set it as a counter. Um, and the second rule, very important, is take into consideration the map, please. Like, if the map has way too many buildings, it might become a problem for you since your main way of dealing damage is actual missiles. So obviously you're going to do a lot better in something like Watchpoint Delta. Just take into consideration that once you take this build out, one, if the player knows how to play this game 100% of the time, they're going to change their build. So use it whenever you want your opponent to change their build. As simple as that. So let's go ahead and find a couple of people to play. Hopefully we're going to play in Watchpoint Delta. I do not want to go to Jorgen Refueling Base. It's not the type of map that you want to be running around this. You want to focus on something like the Dunes, um, Watchpoint Delta, anything that has like a very big open space. Even the one with the three ships. I forget the I, I forget the name of that one. Um, the Spaceport, whatever. You know which one I'm talking about. So you see, thankfully a lot of people like playing in Watchpoint Delta. Um, so this build benefits from that. But normally I prefer to stay away from that. Oh, YouTube delivery, hear your channel. Oh, shit. Let's greet. So since the people are going to start trying to see how they counter this build, I'm just not going to go ahead and, and stay very long. I'm just going to beat them once and leave. Um, just so you see that this build really counters things out of the get-go. Let's see what's up. So let's see who we have here. We have YouTube Delivery. Ooh, double machine gun, triple machine gun, and a laser sword. So this guy looks fast. He's probably going to be able to catch up with me. However, his build is entirely trying to stun me with automatic fire and then executing me with the laser blade. That's his build. That's what he's going to try to do. Um, as a tip to my friend here, the Heyo Channel YouTube Delivery guy, you will probably want to pick a different type of, of map for your for your build because like you need you need the cover of you need the cover of buildings to dodge missiles you yourself are not using missiles so like your little bullets like they're very nice but like they're just gonna bounce off my shield as you can see um Mm, you see, bro? So that's what happens when you depend too much on, like, close-range stuff. Now my shield is active again. And GG, bro. GG. So if you're using a build like like the one our friend here, Gijo, with... I like the bunny. The bunny's cool. Um, like, he's using... Bro, do yourself a favor and get a map with some, some buildings so that you can use your mobility. He's really, really gunning for me. You can see that he's angry. He's very angry. I'm gonna surprise him with the assault. Woo! Oh, he also got me. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, he got me this time. He was very aggressive. Mm-hmm. GG, bro. 
GG. So as you can see, since this is a non-confrontational build, it basically forces the opponent to come after you. So things like shotguns, unless the opponent is using like an extremely fast build, things like shotguns are not even gonna, they're not gonna do it. They're just not gonna do it. Good job, bro. Good job. So, what? He wants another one? I mean, I'm okay. Like, if I get to prove that my build is consistent, I'll do it. Why does my face look so red, bro? Am I having a heart attack? No, I'm just fucking around. I don't know why my face looks like red, like in... I'm looking at myself and I look pretty normal. Something happened to the camera. Um, anyhow, I'm not dying, so let's go ahead and give it one more time. Let's give him a chance to redeem himself with his build. His build is pretty good, um, but it is a close quarters build. I think that he would benefit a lot from some buildings. Maybe the wall is a good, a good place for him to play. Um, Xylem is my favorite map, honestly, hands down. Whenever you're trying to be fast and, and agile like that, Xylem, bro. So let's go ahead and see. He's coming very aggressive. He wants my... He is... He's coming for this ass. He is trying to run around my... Um, my shield. Woo woo! He did connect some damage there, but... We're okay, we're okay. So as you can see, another big thing about this build is that I can shoot backwards um, while So regrettably for him, I also can play without my without my shield. The shield is just to get an advantage over your opponent. I don't depend on the shield for this build, but it is a fun thing to have. And it definitely makes life horrible for the opponent because you're shooting, shooting, like I am just tanking damage here, bro. And I'm moving pretty fast considering. This guy is lucky that he's pretty fast. Most people won't be able to like... to like follow me around like this guy, you see? Ooh, he got me. I think he got me this time. Nah, I have a lot more HP than he has, though. I mean, he's very quick. I can... I give him that. Not bad. He was a good player, bro. His mech was fast as heck, bro. Um, that is, like, if he had a couple of Zimmermans, that was pretty much a meta build nowadays. A very aggressive, very oppressive build with uh, double shotguns, but that's why we have, um, that's why we have the shield, right? So the shield basically guarantees that you will be able to shrug up some damage, and that way with the missiles, you'll be able to, like, why am I using missiles and not another weapon, like a shotgun myself, or a machine gun or something like that? Because I want to be able to move all the time. I want to be able to maintain that distance between me and the opponent all the time. In this case, it was not much of the case, because he was exceedingly fast. But, uh, you know, the build works. The build is fun, just don't use it all the time, have it as a counter card, and you'll do just fine with this build. GG, bros. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find somebody else to just give you another extra extra show. Let's go ahead, let's go to the Bora Dunes. Let's go to the Dunes. Heck yeah. Let's do some Dunes. Oh, sh oh fuck this guy. This shit looks scary, bro. What is going on? Oh, shit. <sighs> Uh, 
Ah, let's see what's up, bro. Let's see what's up. Why do I look so red? I'm not red. Something happened to my camera, bro. Right, whatever. I look like freaking Kirby, bro. I look pink. Look for me in Instagram, bro. The link is there on my YouTube channel. Ooh, oh, man. We have a minigun shotgun guy here. He's also pretty quick, though. He's also pretty quick, so we are about to see some... Some twisted metal footage here. Damn, bro. Shotgun and mini guy is merciless. He's on to me, he's on to me. La, 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 la. Where are you, bro? And he's very fast, bro, which will definitely prove to be a problem. Well, maybe, maybe not. Like, these missiles are gonna... The missiles are gonna screw him up if he doesn't... If he doesn't change his pattern frequently. Mm, that's the first stun, but I'm not gonna capitalize on it. I'm just trying I'm Just trying to get away from him and I don't want to have to recharge my build again So as it stands right now, you can see that his weapons are too close ranged. He is not able to Effectively he's angry bro. He's over boosting and shit throwing shields and uh, lasers and stuff like <laughs> I went to the other side bro Where is he? So a, a big part about this build is the fact that you can just go ahead and attack with what? Looking backwards? Nah, bro. Get away with all them meta crap weapons, bro. Nah, bro. My shield doesn't like that. My shield does not like that. I'll block it, bro. I'll block it. G G. So, I mean, a perfect example of how this build can really screw up your strategy if you depend only on close quarters weapons. It is what it does best. Um, you just need the map to be able to run. And if you have it, then all good. Now, he thinks he's going to be sneaky. He's going to be hiding in the, in the building. I'm going to go ahead and shoot him. With only that, I can win. Like in two minutes, I win if he doesn't come out for me. Um, like he can stay behind the buildings all he wants, but I can win with time. That's why there's a time limiter, um, you know. So if you don't want to face me, that's fine. I'm still going to win. You see my homie. Woo! <laughs> He's angry. He's angry, bro. Yeah, he realized that his time is counting. I'm gonna turn on my shield again. Yum. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, whenever you're having issues with somebody else just bullying you around with meta weapons, you can just go ahead and troll them like this. It is very fun, um, they really don't have a lot to do if you keep your shield up. Um, I've seen a couple of builds using the Scotum in the past. But um, just take into consideration that um, it's not really that necessary to, to have the shield up all the time, like the build can fight without the shield, it's just it's so convenient to have it in this type of build. Because of the same thing, like it lets you tank a ton of damage and where else are you gonna put that shield that works as good as this? Honestly? Like if you're using bipedals, you're doing a lot, the bipedals are built to be in the air and dodge. 
Um, maybe tetrapods. Maybe tetrapods would be a good a good reason, a, a good way to say you, bro. GGs. To to you you know to use that shield. But other than that, I think that Wally is the perfect example of the scutum and a good usage of it. I really can't think of a better build for it. Again, maybe a tetrapod, but. Other than that, I'm not going to be keep <laughs> yapping all day. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure to catch the next ones because I'm going to keep doing weird-ass builds like this one, and I hope that you can all uh, get them. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this right now for you. If you want to download it and play around with it, you don't have to use the same weapons, but trust me, the combination of the wheels with the shield and being able to shoot backwards while you're moving, it's going to be a great thing to have. Um, when it comes to, uh, you know, staying away from those shotguns, bro. So here's the code. I'm going to go ahead and leave it also down in the comments. So go ahead and check it. I also like, like, leaving, like, little detail information there. So if you have a second, just go ahead and read it and maybe you'll learn something. Um, comments, questions, whatever you can ask here or down in the comments. Or remember, just go ahead and hunt me down in, in Instagram, okay? Thanks again. GG, bros. That's the stuff.